But we're going to start with the huge breaking news this afternoon. Tottenham have rejected Bayern Munich's latest bid for Harry Kane with the German champions claiming that was their final offer. Paul Gilmore and Carve Solical are here again. And Paul, Spurs have turned this bid down. Is that the end of it? No, it's not the end of it. The latest information that we have is despite this bid being rejected by Tottenham, negotiations very much still ongoing. Neither side has walked away uh, from those negotiations. So that just opens the door slightly to Bayern Munich, uh, having some hope that they can come back and still get Harry Kane. But what they will have learned from this experience is that uh, Tottenham are you know, will do what's best for their football club and that's very much what we've become accustomed to with Tottenham, with Daniel Levy looking out for the best interests of the club and that's what's happening here. They have a valuation of Harry Kane. If indeed Harry Kane, as we know, is open to speaking formally to Bayern Munich, uh, should a deal be agreed, will Tottenham have a deal in mind if that is going to happen. So that's what they're sticking with and that's the information that we currently have. Uh, unfortunately, it's probably a, a blow for those involved with Tottenham because there is still a chance. But uh, what this means is, is it just drags on further. But Tottenham have been forceful in rejecting it. I don't think they like the fact that uh, there was a deadline and there was a, a, an insistence from Bayern Munich to get a quick answer. Um, that I don't know if they necessarily feel that's the way to negotiate. Uh, so they've rejected this offer, uh, but we're told, just to reiterate, that neither side has walked away completely from the negotiations. Well, Bayern Munich, Carvey, aren't used to rejection. What's their next move now? Was this really a, a final offer? I think what's happening at Bayern Munich today is that some of their top executives are meeting to try and work out what they do next. As you said, they're not used to not getting their own way. They were expecting a quick answer from Spurs on Friday. There was lots of reports in Germany that Bayern Munich had imposed a deadline of midnight on Friday. Well, guess what? Spurs are not going to dance to mm. Bayern Munich's tune. Spurs will do what they feel is in the best interests of Tottenham Hotspur. They've taken their time and they let it be known this afternoon that the bid has been rejected. As far as what Bayern do next, the bid is worth in total about 100 million euros. We've always been told that that is pretty much the maximum that Bayern Munich can pay for Harry Kane. There's people in Germany who are thinking, what is wrong with Bayern? What are they doing? Why are they spending so much money on a player who in January they can speak to and get on a free transfer next summer. Now, will they come back in with an improved offer? I'm not sure how much higher they can go, but I think there is still room for manoeuvre if the sticking point is to do with the structure of the deal. We've seen a lot of times in these big deals, uh, the selling club will say, look, we want a lot of the money up front. Mm. We're not going to hang around three, four, five years to be paid in instalments. If you want this player that much, put a big proportion of the money on the table now. So if that's what they're talking about, then I think there may be room for Bayern to restructure the deal a little bit. But if they're just talking about price, then I can't see how much higher Bayern Munich can go. And to get Harry Kane they're going to have to offer £100 million, not £100 million. Euros. Yeah, yeah so there is a difference. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm going to ask you guys one final question then. Will Harry Kane be a Tottenham player at the end of the transfer window? Well, based on this evidence, it, it, it depends on Bayern Munich because Tottenham have made it clear that, as Cave says, they do want minimum £100 million for Harry Kane because, yes, he has one year left in his contract, but look at the goals he will guarantee. He is one of Europe's, if not the world's, elite strikers. Uh, and, and so I think it depends completely on Bayern Munich based on the evidence that we've seen Tottenham ignoring Bayern Munich's insistence for a, a quick answer on Friday, Saturday, uh, waited until today to reject the offer. Uh, and this, despite Bayern Munich's feeling that they did compromise. We talk, we've mentioned that, that meeting in London between the clubs last week. There was a, a, a difference in valuation, minimum £20 million. So Bayern Munich did feel they compromised. They felt that they, got, they reduced that gap further, but it clearly 
as today, as we've seen today, it's not enough for Tottenham, and Tottenham have made their position mm. completely clear. They've fought back in this, but that's what we see in these big deals. We see it going back and forth and back and forth, and we've had twists and turns. We've just we had a couple of twists and turns this afternoon already, so it feels like. Uh, we are at the critical point of the negotiations. The two clubs are getting closer. The fact that neither side has walked away uh, from the negotiations will still give Bayern Munich some hope they can do it. But Tottenham have made their position completely clear by rejecting it. So the short answer is it is still impossible to call because of everything that's happening. But it feels like if Bayern Munich can get to what Tottenham want, Harry Kane would, would then be a Bayern Munich player. But a lot still to happen uh, for that to happen. What do you reckon? Look, I think if Harry Kane's still uh, at Spurs on Friday, then I think he'll stay at Spurs mm. for the whole season. Because, you know, Ange Postacoglu needs to focus on the first game of the season. Harry Kane wants his future sorted out this week. So if Bayern Munich don't offer what Spurs want, then I think he will stay. And I think as far as... Bayern Munich are concerned, it's a big, big risk because there's no guarantee that they will get Harry Kane next summer. Because one, he could sign a new Spurs contract. Two, next summer when he's a free agent, Lots more clubs will come in. He's going to have his pick of clubs, yeah. and it could be clubs that Spurs are not willing to do business with at the moment. So, for instance, I don't know, Manchester United could come in mm. for him. Real Madrid, as well as Mbappe, they could get Kane for nothing next summer. So there's that to think about as well. I think if Bayern Munich want him, they have to make their move now and they've got to stop wasting time and, you know, behaving the way they've been behaving because they've known all along what the price is. Yeah, and it's, it's pounds, not euros. Pounds, That's not it. euros. <laughs> and, and the other, the, it's, it's also worth pointing out, I think, as well, Bayern Munich do have a history of, of this kind of tactic. They've used it in the past in big transfer negotiations where they come in with a final offer. Mm. So can we completely rule out another... Uh, Bayern Munich offer, I'm not sure. So that it, it just op the, what today has shown, it just opens the door that Bayern Munich may still have a belief they can get him. But again, just to reiterate, they now know where Tottenham's position is and what Tottenham's position is on this. Anything can still happen by the sounds of it. Thank you very much, guys.